Kendrick Lamar Duckworth is an American rapper and songwriter, known for his progressive musical styles and socially conscious songwriting. He is often considered one of the most influential hip-hop artists of his generation. Born and raised in Compton, California, Lamar began his career as a teenager performing under the stage name K. Dot. He quickly garnered local attention which led to him signing a recording contract with Top Dog Entertainment in 2005. I always felt like there was a certain standard of music that I had to do from the beginning, even when I didn't have the recognition that I have now. From the moment I started writing raps, I was always aware of the pressure, I always wanted to live up to how huge Snoop got, how huge Dre got, and how huge Pac got, I was always aware. My passion is bringing storylines around and constructing a full body of work rather than just a 16 bar verse. You can have the platinum album, but, you know, when you still feel like you haven't quite found your place in the world, it kind of gives a crazy offset. The way people look at me these days, that's the same way I looked at President Obama before I met him. We tend to forget that people who've attained a certain position are human. My folks ain't graduated from high school or nothing like that, so we always had to struggle in the family, and I come from a big family. Before finding music, I didn't have too many aspirations. I wanted to hang out, make a little money from whatever I had to do. When I'm in the studio, I'm looking for creativity I haven't matched yet, a feeling I haven't felt. It's a high. This is the thing about hip-hop music and where people get it most misconstrued, it's all hip-hop, you can't say that just what I do is hip-hop because hip-hop is all energies, James Brown can get on the track and mumble all day, but guess what, you felt his soul on those records. I think that's why I put my energy into making music, that's how I get my thoughts out, instead of being crazy all the time. My mom's always told me, how long you gonna play the victim? I can say I'm mad and I hate everything, but nothing really changes until I change myself. I learned when I look in the mirror and tell my story that I should be myself and not peep whatever everybody is doing. My whole thing is to inspire, to better people, to better myself forever in this thing that we call rap, this thing that we call hip hop. Me, as a person, I grow, I'm like a chameleon, that is a gift and a curse for me, but more so a gift, because it never puts me in a box. I look at where I'm at today and realize that most of my success is owed to the mentors that was in my life. I got a greater purpose, God put something in my heart to get across, and that's what I'm going to focus on, using my voice as an instrument and doing what needs to be done. When I talk to kids, I'm really listening, when I do that. We have a little bit of a bigger connection than me being Kendrick Lamar and you being a student. It's almost like we're friends, because a friend listens. Being acknowledged for your work is always a great accomplishment, whether it's people in my city, kids in the street, all the way up to the Grammys. I had to come from something, come from a place that was negative and positive, but the majority of it is a negative place. The majority of my interactions with police were not good, there were a few good ones who were actually protecting the community, but then you have ones from the valley, they never met me in their life, but since I'm a kid in basketball shorts and a white t-shirt, they wanna slam me on the hood of the car, 16 years old. Temptation is just the feeling that you're the most independent person on planet earth, that you know everything, that's something that we all go through as a kid, now, this lifestyle that I'm in, the same thing exists. 
but it's 10 times worse because everything is at my disposal. When you're in the limelight, you can get anything you want. People are used to music that justifies street culture, but something that's not touched on is why these kids act the way they act, live the way they live. I'm just writing, writing, writing. I keep these tablets on me until I'm inspired to go back in and make the music. I never take a break from my pen, because I pride myself on that. I've got an extra specific story about Dr. Dre. I saw him when I was 9 years old in Compton, him and Tupac. They were shooting the second California Love video. My pops had seen him and ran back to the house and got me, put me on his neck, and we stood there watching Dre and Pac in a Bentley. I don't really believe in the type of pressure that people are wanting to put on the type of music that I make. It's easy to forget who you are. People have to go through trials and tribulations to get where they at. Do your thing, continue to rock it, because obviously, God wants you here. The hardest thing for, not only an artist, but for anybody to do is look themselves in the mirror and acknowledge, you know, their own flaws and fears and imperfections, and put them out there in the open for people to relate to it. I've been called a recluse. There's definitely truth in that. I like to spend time alone. As long as my music is real, it's no limit to how many years I can grab. At first, I was scared to show fear because you can never be sure how people will perceive you, but I dared myself to do that, to stand out. Now I'll talk about being beaten up or robbed or making a stupid decision because of a girl or whatever. The best thing is to always keep honest people around. Because when you have a bunch of yes men around that know that you're making a mistake but let you go on with it, that's when it ruins your mind state as an artist. As a kid from Compton, you can get all the success in the world and still question your worth. In all my days of schooling, from preschool all the way up to 12th grade, there was not one white person in my class. Literally zero. Black and brown pride have been taught in my household for a long time. 